Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PIFX. First of all, thanks to all of you for your likes and comments. I really, really appreciate it and um, yeah, keep those coming guys. Uh, as usual, we're going to take a look at uh, all the majors for the uh, upcoming week and try to give you a great trading plan. So while I roll the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe put alerts on to get notified each and every time I upload a new video. See you there. Welcome back guys. Uh, a quick look at the calendar and uh, we quickly see that there is not much of um, news from uh, the USA next week. The only major event we have from the USA is the ISM non-manufacturing PMI and that is on Tuesday and uh, on Monday we have retail sales from Aussie. We have the first ECB press conference for uh, Mrs. Lagrod. She gonna speak uh, on Monday evening and uh, Thursday we have um, EU economic forecast and the super Thursday for the sterling where we're gonna have both um, inflation report and the official bank rate votes and official bank rate and uh, of course the um, uh, the speak after that for Mr. Carney um, not expecting big uh, fireworks there since um, again we still um, all eyes keep being on Brexit and the election uh, and on Friday we have uh, for the Canadian um, dollar employment change and unemployment rate. So there is major events but nothing from the US uh, and uh, as always you should always keep an eye on those news events. We'll start with uh, the charts and always we start with the Dixie as usual to have an idea of what is the dollar uh, doing. And uh, we see that uh, last week uh, we've got a uh, pretty uh, strong bearish engulfing candle. So after this uh, strong break below this trend line on the weekly time frame, we have this inside bar. And now we have a uh, weekly bearish engulfing candle after that. So uh, um, everything is pointing to the downside for the dollar at the moment. We go down to the daily time frame. We see we have a lower high after a pretty strong impulse. This impulse was um, uh, not uh, one push only. We had a small correction as this one, another small as this one, but the momentum is clearly a bearish momentum. Each time we have a correction, they were small and shallow um, until uh, this one. There was a little bit of a bigger, a bigger correction. Uh, last week, I said uh, I'm looking for a retracement toward this level before uh, the continuation to the downside. But the market did reverse already near uh, this level of interest that I also mentioned that could be an important area. So. Uh, the daily close was below previous low, not the biggest uh, break, but still it is uh, a close below that low. So the structure here is um, uh, broken. We're trading below the 200 moving average on the daily, which is also an important um, directional um, uh, signal that the market is below the 200 moving average on the daily. Usually uh, that is uh, a bearish signal. So uh, what we're looking for is a continuation for the Dixie to the down side but before that we need to see a break below uh, below this uh, structure here um, as you see here uh, this um, this here signaling um, that if we break below uh, this uh, structure here to then look for uh, some kind of correction it does not need to be uh, to the pip back to this area it could still correct higher and then a continuation lower toward 95 uh, 75 area is my uh, anticipation on the dollar uh, oil still um, looking uh, that um, a bit uh, bullish, I would say, after this um, break, retest, and uh, pretty strong bounce here at the retest of this uh, previous structure. So uh, we talked about this range in the last week overview, and I said that we we've we've been in inside this uh, range here, and that we need to see the market breaking outside of that. 
for more direction move now we've got this uh, break to the upside we've got the retest and pretty nice bounce uh, higher once again so if we go back to the daily time frame on this chart we see that uh, the market is still below the 200 moving average but as you see the uh, the lows are getting higher and the highs are getting higher we have a major swing high here and now we have another major swing higher low so there is a possibility of market continuation to tag this previous high reach the monthly r1 and the 200 moving average on the daily time frame is a possible market objective at least so um, keep an eye on this uh, ongoing move now uh, i would say uh, one could wait for some correction to the downside if we get bullish evidence here uh, that could give us another higher low to then look for a possible buy and continuation higher on uh, on oil as far as the monthly pivot point down here is still holding as support it is um, still a uh, good area to buy at gold also uh, did a nice bounce to the upside so um, still inside this uh, range nothing has changed here and um, yeah this uh, would be the same here uh, as well we uh, keep uh, buying the low selling the high in this range until we have either a break to the upside that hold above the range if that is the case we look for a continuation toward monthly or two area um, if the break happened to the downside then there is a possibility that we tag this uh, previous low so right now the market is testing a possible level of resistance but to be aware of we had a very strong push uh, a retest and an attempt for continuation so there is a possibility for a break to the upside but be careful this is uh, shown uh, here that it is a good and even here it is a good resistance level so you do not buy um, at this level if you uh, really want to buy gold you first off you need to see a break above that showing you the momentum will continue to then look for a retest and uh, if that retest hold above this structure here uh, if the retest hold above the 15th um, 15 uh, 15 15 area i would say uh, that uh, could signal a continuation EURUSD still holding um, <coughs> above this support level after the break during um, uh, during last week trading we had uh, a correction i was expecting a bit of a deeper correction i was looking at around the 50 percent or 618 but we uh, did not uh, get that we didn't even reach uh, reach the 38.2 uh, fibonacci retracement and uh, we start seeing the market pushing to the upside already from this level but uh, after this break we reached a possible resistance level and we were talking in uh, my trading room that we should be looking for as you see here in this chart for a retest and uh, another bounce to the upside even this one here the retest came but it wasn't as deep um, i was expecting the market to reach this level where we have the 200 moving average on the one hour and the previously broken structure um, so for the euro there is a possibility if we go to the daily time frame again there is also a possibility here that we have after this strong impulse a correction and continuation but keep an eye on this area here where we have the 200 moving average on the daily time frame coming from above and we have this uh, previous uh, support and resistance level here so uh, market objective is probably to reach this uh, 200 moving average target tag these highs as well and uh, there is still some room for that to happen um, but when and if the market reached that you need to be a little bit careful because there is a possibility that you see uh, some kind of move like this to then give you one more bounce to the downside there is still um, in my opinion a possibility that we see uh, maybe some kind of consolidation here or uh, a, a bit of a deeper correction before we uh, keep going uh, for me to change that uh, idea about a bigger correction i want to see uh, on the daily time frame a break above this previous high strong break above that above the 200 moving average to then look for a retest and continuation the reversal uh, did start already we do have a nice push to the upside so we just want to see more signal that 
the 200 moving average on the daily gonna also be broken okay um, in any case if this market let's say we fail the euro fail to make a new high and start moving to the downside then we should be looking uh, for this level as the first area of uh, major support where we have the monthly pivot point down here so keep in mind this level this is going to be um, a uh, interesting uh, area where we may find some support especially if this market start making some consolidation uh, up here inside uh, this possible range here if we reach this level we should be looking for buys uh, on the euro usd sterling usd still not much happening since we broke that wedge we um, saw the market moving down but then making a rounded bottom and pushing to the upside i'm not a fan of buying against um, this kind of uh, resistance and that the market did a pretty strong push before that looking on the daily time frame we had uh, this impulse another very strong impulse to the upside and now correction and retest of this level is possible so since we are going against a possible resistance i'm not interesting uh, in buying here i'm more interesting to see if this market will give us a deeper correction all the way down toward uh, 1.2590 area could be a good level to look for buys but not here um unless we we see this market just keep pushing higher and uh, break above and the retest hold above then there is a possibility that we uh, see a continuation but i'm not a fan of that i would like to wait for some kind of correction back down at least back down to this uh, structure down here where we have this uh, new range right now something like this to buy here but uh, where the market is trading right now is against a resistance level and even though uh, this uh, uh, reversal has started um, I'm not a fan of buying it once again I want to see a deeper correction before um, uh, going long USD Jappy did reach the 200 moving average uh, three days actually uh, got tested here and failed to break above it um, Wednesday we had a pretty nice uh, shooting star formation to then uh, get a continuation to the downside breaking below this previous low down here to then reach 108 area and sit at that support once again so uh, since uh, we failed to um, continue higher and after this a strong push to the downside one could look for a possible continuation here but um, again since we're sitting at a possible support um, it could be uh, a level where you may see uh, some kind of consolidation before any continuation move or you look for a retest of um, 108.50 if the market fails to make new high and start uh, showing you bearish evidence at this level you try to go short and uh, anticipating a break below this low here so if the break below this low happened then there is a possibility for continuation since we broke this uh, trend line now we are in the short term selling area so any uh, break up below this area down here is a signal for a con continuation move back down toward uh, 106 50. New Zealand USD <clears throat> let's go to the daily time frame here as you saw earlier uh, when we've been following this market we had uh, we've been talking about this lower uh, head and shoulder uh, inverted head and shoulder formation uh, it did break uh, the previous uh, neckline we did uh, this break and a retest to the neckline to then look for a continuation at the same time now we have two head and shoulder depends on how you look at it we have this one as well the bigger one if you just want to see this whole thing with as a one leg and here we have another leg we have the right shoulder formed and retest of this neckline now so this is also a very uh, big and nice uh, inverted head and shoulder by the way for those of you uh, uh, who do not uh, know how to trade the head and shoulder I've um, I, I, I did write a, a very 
a good article about that the link is in the description below this video you can uh, read that to uh, learn more uh, more about how to trade the head and shoulder formation in this case it is the inverted head and shoulder so you just do the opposite of uh, a normal uh, head and shoulder so we have uh, the bigger head and shoulder now the neckline still not broken we have a rejection at this level since it is a uh, level of uh, resistance here up here so what we're looking for for a longer term continuation on this market is if we're gonna see a break above this neckline if that is the case then there is a possibility for continuation to the upside on uh, this market so last week in our um, uh, trading room we've been talking about uh, looking for a retest of this level we had this uh, whole kill zone to trade at uh, the market did a first attempt to the upside dip one more time to that kill zone and pushed higher and it looks like we have a nice build up for a possible breakout here but to be more sure about it you either wait for uh, some kind of correction back down toward this area to look for a buy or you wait for a break above the neckline to then look for a retest and continuation the same thing as we had here so we broke the neckline we got a retest and the continuation now we look for the same thing to happen at this neckline and continuation yeah again if you're not sure about the head and shoulder trading um, click the link below in the description and uh, you will find how to trade it USD chief a very nice and strong break uh, below the trend line also had major issues to break above the 200 moving average on the daily followed by a um, couple of shooting star formation and a very strong bearish move i think uh, the market objective is at least to reach this previous low down here and uh, there is still a little bit of room to reach that level to then uh, look to see if we're gonna have a break below this structure or not so uh, the lower high here is a major lower high we had a break below this structure so we have a lower low a major lower high a break now is needed below this level for the continuation to the downside so this is a very important level if you see a break below this then uh, bears are still in control and we may see a continuation to the downside on usd chief usd cad um, as i mentioned um, before many times since we uh, broke below this level we were looking for a retest and continuation um, and as you know i um, was looking to short this market i did actually short this market we talked about that in our trading room at around the yearly pivot point to then close the trade the reason i did close the trade was um, after this we uh, my short was from here and after that I were not seeing any momentum we will start seeing this uh, bullish flag happening so i did close the trade in some profit and then during the nfp we've got this push to the upside but again th this also failed to make a new high there was no break above previous high and we've got a big rejection after that so now i'm again interesting to look to find an entry reason short especially that we had um, on the daily time frame this uh, evening star formation and on friday we have a nice uh, bearish engulfing candle so this still could be break retest and continuation back toward this low down here so i'm uh, looking to find an entry reason on um, cat uh, any continuation below this structure a strong break below like this and a slow correction to the upside that make a bearish flag or something like that could give me a reason to enter for a continuation move to the downside we could also go to a lower time frame like the one hour time frame and we see that we have this range if broken like this to then give me a retest then i could consider uh, go uh, short on this market aussie usd also still uh, bullish but we also have a, a pretty important trend line um, coming from above here we have this trend line that been tested uh, many times um, and been working as nice um, 
resistance so far we have the 200 moving average on the daily as well but this market been uh, rounding nicely here we get we got a nice bottom we got a retest after the break of the neckline here and continuation we do have actually a break above this high as well on the daily time frame now so there is a big chance of a continuation but we still want to see a break above this trend line if that is the case we get the break above the trend line and the 200 moving average then we have a big chance of a real reversal and continuation looking on the weekly time frame we see that the last week we had a break a, uh, above this previous high which is very very important but also we have this trend line that we need to keep an eye at if you want to uh, trade this market um, long before the breakout i would say you need to wait for some kind of a retest at least toward this level once again to then try to find a buy from uh, the retest area for a continuation anticipating a break or to wait for the break to happen something like this to then look for a retest and start uh, joining the bulls for the upside move on uh, aussie usd so um, yeah guys that was it for today thanks a lot and uh, see you next week bye bye